Hello everybody and welcome back to Vima Variax's Iron Man Morrowind Adventures. I am Variax and this is Asani. We have taken a break of uh, of a week because last week was the charity stream that we did and it was very successful. So well done to everyone who joined in with that. But now uh, we're on with this. And in it, this character here is going to try and kill Diviath Fear. That is uh, her... Aim. Apologies if I sort of like got the pronunciation of that minute that wrong and it probably did. But uh, yes, our aim is to go over here because we know where he is and kill him. Uh, one trait that I've decided for this character is that she doesn't like to fast travel. We have done it once, but that was, you know, very early days before I really knew much about her. And now I decided, no, she's not going to fast travel anymore. But we have to go and get over here. We are a night blade. So we like, uh, we like sneaking, we like light armor. We like um, illusion and mysticism and stuff like that. So it's going to be a long, long road with this character to get good enough to kill this guy. Um, literally and figuratively. Uh, I did say last time as well that I would install the Morrowind Comes Alive mod via sort of like wire bash and things like that. Um, but I've decided against that idea because I don't trust myself and I may well just wreck the entire thing and not be able to load this save again if I start messing with things. I, I honestly don't trust myself doing it. So what I've decided to do is keep it for this save game only, this character. Once this character dies, I shall basically do a complete reinstall of Morrowind. Carry on this series, but just have basically the graphics mods, the uh, less generic, generic NPCs and stuff like that. Because um, we started out with quite a few mods and gradually just like got less and less with them and now we just have like a very vaguely more um modded model wind with some nice graphics um so that's what i'm going to do but for now we must concentrate on this character and here she is now we don't have any magicka and i believe we do have the yes spell absorption trait because we are uh, the the atronach star sign so what i'm going to do is pop to the temple here and get a blessing and hopefully how much gold have I got? Okay, we've got plenty of gold. Yeah, hopefully... Um, Magicka? Absorb the blessing and in doing so get our Magicka back. Oh, there was also a user who suggested that I install a mod that, that gets players out, um, NPCs out of the way. Which was a good idea. Um, but I haven't installed it. I'm just going to just disable everybody who gets in my way for now. I may install it when I reinstall other stuff so I'm, I just want that and okay we, we absorbed it so now we have full magicka and we can carry on with our business and what might that be well we sort of like we, we kind of stuck up here I could try and get north to cool and go around this way but I know and my character knows I've decided you know not entirely um, ignorant about the world uh, the world around her that all the major cities and such lie down here And that's probably the best way to go rather than up here And we don't want to fast travel so I, I need to go south, but south is death Mind you north might be death as well. I will disable you. Thank you um, Now there was an orc with some slaves in a cave, but to be quite honest I really don't fancy that at all But we need to get somewhere better than this so that we can uh, get some better armor and equipment and, and, and stuff. So it's tricky because the nearest place is like Aldrun here. It's really so like by not fast traveling and that includes obviously teleportation by the Mage's Guild because that's even worse than traveling on a silt, a silt strider. It's like uh, yeah I, I don't really want to travel on the silt strider because I don't really trust them but oh yeah yeah instant teleportation absolutely I'll yeah I'll take that which is strange of course because we're a mystic if you like and so we'll use Mac and recall maybe we trust ourselves in doing it but not somebody else that's probably it which means that we are fiercely independent and do not trust anybody there is another character trait that has just arisen from that little discussion I had with myself and you please you heard it um, that's how these things sort of develop so we're fiercely independent which isn't a bad thing, it's not really a bad thing in Morrowind, because it's not like it's overflowing with companions that, that you can bring along with you. And a good thing it is too, because 
they suck and would die and get lost and stuck on rocks and fall behind. So there's that cave with the orc. But I don't want to... I don't want to... <laughs> no, I don't... No. Uh, it's tempting because I could go in there with with this that we got, an adrenaline rush, and rush him and see if... But he, he's... I think he had like a, an orc war axe on him. Which wouldn't do me a lot of good if I got it, because I don't need gold. I need to get somewhere where I can buy stuff. So I think we're going to try and make a beeline for Alderaan. So I need to start walking a little bit. Because we had a, a big fight here with some Aelids, and I found that chest which had like basically nothing on it. There was also some witches and such. So it's, it's been a while since I've played the save game. Two weeks. I know it doesn't seem like a long time, but uh, it seems like it is with uh, me forgetting everything that's happened so far. We're walking a very overgrown path here. I can only assume that it is a path because it's got these next to it and it's heading towards a bridge. Lots of bridges here. Which is nice. I am walking. Though I, I do seem to be walking pretty fast by Morrowind standards. I will try and take up this rat because it's leveling. Nice. Well done me. Um... But yeah, I'm going to walk so I can keep my fatigue up at least above half, so now I'll run a little bit. I do seem to be going in the wrong direction now, because I want to go that way. If I climb there, I can... These ambient sound. I need to be on this road, basically, because that's the road I want to go at. And now is it raining? Sounds like it's raining. Doesn't look like it's raining, but it sounds like it is. Yeah, we'll go across here. It's really weird. Okay, so I see something in the distance there. That is a dwarven ruin. There is likely death there. Let's go. Because if this character did nothing, it wouldn't be any good at all, would it? Oh! Jesus. The thing I really like about this series is that uh, I'll just close that. I don't want to disable it because it will respawn. Not that, that really matters too much because we're off now. Um, goodbye, Nysis. It was nice knowing you. Oh, I've got a sign. No, what was I saying? If my character does nothing, then you know there's no, there's, there's no point really playing the game, is there? But uh, yeah, and the, it's really nice playing it like this because even a Quammer Forager. It's freaking terrifying. So yeah, we've got, a, we've got a sign. Let's go and see the sign. Might get onto a more ra major road. Ah! Oh. So, Alvalothi, that way, cool. Nice. I don't want to go to any of these places! <laughs> oh, yes, and there's the campfire where those slavers are that we don't know about. Yes, yeah, so, so I've been there, actually. Um, in a different... So I... No, oh, there's this again with... Uh, the pool. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. So I might... Hang on a minute. Where am I? I've gone the wrong... I've gone the wrong... What the hell? How? How did I do that? How have I gone completely the wrong way? <laughs> My sense of direction is pretty awful. I've got an entire wrong direction. I don't believe it. Well, you know, say now goodbye, Nisus. Uh, I thought we were down here somewhere. How has that happened? I thought I don't. I don't even. We actually. I don't. What? I'm so confused. But I don't want to do that. I, mean, I don't want to go in there because I've been there before you know, as a character. 
Oh, that route should really affect. I thought I was going like that way. I'll have to rewatch the recording and see what the hell I was thinking there. So she's dropped her ring in this pool. Which is like a, you know, a pixel big. So you gotta go and find the ring, which is a very nice ring, by the way. Um, but then when you do, this, this woman, she's actually around here. You can actually find her. She has a very high chameleon effect on. And uh, yeah, she'll throw darts at you and you basically die. Um, so I don't want to do that quest. I know it's like not really role playing, but I can ask her about the quest. She'll say, I've got my ring and I might tough luck because that's my character. So there. So I won't even, won't even bother with that. Um, I'm going to head back to nice <laughs> and then see if I can help bloody south. Yes. Get zooks. Get sakes. Get, I don't know, man. So clearly this character is, it's a trait. I did it on purpose. It has no, no sense of direction at all. No sense of direction. Goes the wrong direction by default. So many signs. I know where I'm going now. Thank you very much. There's the coast. Sea. Yeah, we're on the coast now. So out of character knowledge tells me there's a very nice bandit camp over there. Maybe not those guys, but there is a, a cave. And uh, in that cave, there is a sword that I want, a, a, just, a, a glass jinx blade. You know what, I might try and take these guys on, because like I said, if, it's, if this character does nothing, it's pointless playing it. Um, I this sword, this thing, I need to equip my pretty shield. I also have a... What's my marksman? 15. Yeah, not the best in the world, but I might as well take it. And... I'll have the iron arrows rather than the chitin ones. I might as well drop these. No, I won't drop them. Do I drop them? No. Maybe I can do some damage on these guys before they get to me. So, uh, yeah, that save was pointless, but it might crash. You never know. Um, yeah, I'm sneaking, and I'm going to get a... I'm going I'm to shoot this guy up there. and shoot him. Fire. Not a chance. Not a chance in hell I'm going to hit anything up there, is there? Not even going to notice I'm shooting at them. Oh! Okay, well. Oh, that's good. There's only one. And he's stuck. Now, I don't know whether the Morrowind Engine will let me shoot him when he's behind that objects so it's lost him completely now we can't even measure his health bar well worst case scenario here I'm leveling my stealth because he's lost me if only I could do some damage to him <gasps> alright we'll keep doing this in fact kiting arrows would be a very good idea here because I'm in no danger really He can't see me. He's like, where are these arrows coming from? I don't know where these arrows are coming from. They're just, they're just appearing from places. So I have a very low chance to hit this guy, clearly. But I hit once, right? So that's improved my maximum by 6%. Oof. Motto end combat. We're in no danger. That's the main thing. We are in no danger at all, and he's lost half his hill. I have to hit him like four or five times and he'll be dead. But oh, random number generator. Oh, Lord, please. Oh, there we go. There's another one. There's not sneak attacks, by the way. How are they? They're just like, I'm hitting him while sneaking, but they're not critical attacks. Anyway. But yes, we must pray to the random number generator god. It's not even Nuffle. That was a. That was a Blood Bowl reference, everyone. Um, but yeah. Come on. Riveting. Uh, it's fine. We'll we, we'll be alright. What's the uh, f fatigue, the condition of this thing? Yeah, it's fine. It was full, so... Seems like a good time to use it. So, uh... How you guys doing? Running a good bucks lately? 
Um, yeah, I've uh, been reading this uh, this Warhammer book called The Sundering by Gav Thorpe. It's about elves killing each other, so, you know. Just started it, though. They're arguing right now. They'll get to killing soon, I imagine. Anyway. So, you know, I'm not sure whether I should be sh aiming right at the cross crosshair. But the arrow is flying slightly to the left, so if I aim... You know, but the cross... You know, if, that seems to be doing more... There we go! So, even the crosshair with, with Marksman is wrong. Go with where the arrow is flying. Should I not... Oh <gasps> my god! Alright, our max move is now 31%! Woo woo! We'll have a solid you know, we'll have a save for no reason at all. And then we'll do this again with this person over here. Ha! <laughs> wow. Oh! What? Our wounds are great. They aren't, but we're out of arrows. So that only took 80 arrows. <laughs> to hit like twice. Although now I know what I'm aiming for. And he's gonna get stuck there. Fantastic. They fell into the same trap as your friend there, yes. Now you will suffer my wrath. Oh, no, he's, he's making a bit more of an effort. Proving a moving target. The health bar, I like that he's got a health bar there, because that shows at least the game is registering that I'm shooting at him. There we go. Oomph. I'm sure these guys have some really elite loots, you know, like... Glass and Daedric weapons. Really nice, you know, maybe a glass longsword or something. Be like Raiden the Vaults of Vivek. Which is another aim I have to make for a character. I thought that would be quite a nice one if I haven't already. A character that wants to raid the Vaults of Vivek. All three of them. Because there's quite a quite nice stuff in them. As you might imagine. Yeah, anyway, uh... Onto this character. Um, yeah. Enjoy that little movement there. Alright, that's it. We're out. So if I can't kill him now, he's half dead. We've got a big sword, although maybe I'll go with this one. We're in no rush. We'll just walk up there. Morrowind combat, everyone. It doesn't look like there's anyone else there, so there's only the two of them. Right, now watch him kill me. After all this, watch him kill me. Here we go. We're actually getting pretty handy with our uh, shot blade. <clears throat> wow. Amazing. Alright, so what have we got? Chitin, shot sword, not as good as mine, probably. Nope. And some clothes. And the same. No, a, a dagger, even better. But they will have a chest. And the chest will have many goodies. They've got a barrel. Oh no, wait, there it is. Okay, we get uh, 25 gold. And a glass bottle. And a barrel. Yeah, see, that was, that was, that was well worth it. Well, that uh, take like, what? How long did that take? How long did that take? A long time. There's a shipwreck down there. There's a shipwreck. I might as well. Yeah, so that was about, what, 20 minutes of gameplay or something? I don't know, it, it felt like a long time, and now I can't get on this bloody thing. I, I don't have to swim. I, I want to make this clear. There we go. It's not even, it's not even a decent shipwreck. It's just a, it's not even a ship, it's a boat. I don't even know if there's a difference. Anything on it. Anything at all. Anything about why I came down here would be great. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just it's just a boat. I don't know what the difference between a ship and a boat is, but I've decided this is a boat and a silly boat at that. Anything else? There's a plant over there. I might head towards that. Uh, and then a bunch of very small islands. I'll have nothing on them at all. 
And yes, yeah, so this entire little excursion was pointless. So all I've done so far in this episode is gone the wrong way. Killed two extremely weak bandits with my bow that I could have just hacked to death with my short sword quite easily. And found a shipwreck with nothing on it. Brilliant. So far, a complete and utter success. I think you will all agree. And now I can't even get back up to where I was. Because there is a large cliff in my way. Yes. How did I even get down here? I didn't think about getting back up, did I? Oh. I forgot all the way back there. And then, uh, I don't know. I'm going to press down this way. I am. Um, I'm going to go this way. I can die for pearls. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't really... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't appeal. They're not even pearls, are they? It's not even oysters. Oyster, whatever. Whatever. The, yeah. Alright. I, I found a place. It's scary. I'm going in. What's the worst that can happen? Well, I could drown. Where is that? Okay. Where am I? Is this the... Oh, God. Where am I? This is the bandit camp I was talking about. I think they're the really nice one with the nice stuff in it. But I'm so weak. There's a fish. Thankfully, the... Uh, oh, that's something I will definitely give the animal realism so everything doesn't try and attack you instantly. All right, sneak. I'm not sneaking. That's worrying. Maybe it's the fish that sees me. We'll I'll just get our fatigue back before we go anywhere else. So we might have found the back way into that bandit camp I was speaking about. Or it could be completely on its own, which would be freaking cool, but... Okay, there's a gate. There doesn't seem to be anything else here except this. Oh, I can deal with that. I can actually probably absorb that, but I don't need it, so... Oh, bent probe. Got a couple of bent probes here. Okay, what's in here? <gasps> Ooh, unhinging and one gold piece and a, and a pewter goblet. But this is pretty nice. Because this is all there is. This is it, isn't it? That is it. There might be some more over there. I don't know. More to this cave. Maybe there's a... Aha, uh -huh, there is. Yep, there's a little bit more. Uh-huh. Oh, Christ. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. All right. Wow. Uh, get out the water. Let's see what we're dealing with here. It might get stuck on something or drown. I, I don't think I've ever seen an NPC dive into water after me. They, they normally just, like, run around on the edge of the platform. Like, oh, ah, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. That's all they do. Never seen one actually jump in, and that fish is making me really nervous. Are you still alive? Where's he got? Okay, he's there. Hello. Maybe I'll try and take him up with spells, because I do have this righteousness thing. I don't know. I don't know how tough this guy is. We've got to breathe first. Let's do that. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, he's hitting me, but I'm doing more damage to him, so we'll just keep doing this. Yep, this is fine. Also training my mysticism, yes, so... Ah, leveled up! And we killed this guy. Killed Thaden. And again, he had nothing on him at all. Let's just have a look and see this, because I currently have Nordic fur boots. Uh, Nitch leather boots, same better condition though so I'll change them in the water yes in the water I know although I do like the look of the leather boots those boots better and also we do have this the boiled natural the curse which is not as good as kiting one so here we are we've leveled um let's go and do that now yes I know I know I couldn't just make that as well I may have to kill you if you count as an enemy but I think I'll be able to rest here unless there's uh Oh, good. Unheal? Yeah, well, just one hour then, I guess. Either way. We've leveled up! Strength! 
Uh, endurance didn't go up at all. Agility is nice and intelligence for more mana. Then speed which makes us faster. But yeah, magicka all the way. Yeah, because strength makes us faster anyway and speed isn't really that useful. Okay, so we're level two, so now we're badass. Let's go. Take on the world. So is this it? I, w I would take on the world, but I can't actually get out. Now, I do think I had... Yes, I do have the levitate spell. The whether I want to get up there. Let me just check the map and see if there's anything. Yeah, see, I don't really see anything else. Uh... Oh, hang on. Okay, smuggler den. Yeah, this is definitely where I was thinking of before. Yeah, that, yeah, it is. Um, hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll, I'll tell you now. It scares me. Uh. But then I always have the option to run down here if I draw them here. Looks like a mage. That's good. I'll be very good against mages because I absorb half of these spells and I have these protections against shock frost and fire so I might I might take a chance on this one you know except there's more than one I'm not even sneaking now if I had a bow with an arrow in it <sighs> never mind never mind, never mind. I, do I have anything I mean I got sanctuary and stuff I can you know I got shield that, that actually very useful righteousness is a very nice spell if we've just found out and I can always just warp away when I need so I'm, I'm looking pretty good, as long as I keep eight Magicka. And I've got Adrenaline Rush as well, but I don't fancy taking two of them on. Thankfully, I think she's... Oh, is she a... Ranged? Yeah, she is, isn't she? But I think I'm safe here, so you just use all your darts at me. I don't think she can hit me because I'm stuck behind this post. Yeah, now she's now she's coming. Okay. Okay, we can do this. What's, what's that? Oh, that's the gene blade that I want. No, I don't. Ironically, I don't have a, a, a remove paralysis, even though it's like what I uh, really sort of like insist on buying. So that's quite bad. This is the sword that I want. Um, I can take potions while I'm paralyzed but but yeah wow I think I'm gonna die shame because I was really getting attached to this character I can't really do anything all. Looks like it's the end of the road. It is, you know. Oh, no! Oh! Where are we? We're in ISIS. Oh! But we're still alive. <laughs> oh, we're still alive. That Jinx Blade, man. That Jinx Blade. Now, if we have lots of potions of paralysis curing, we can take her out. I am going back there. I am so going back there. And I am going to take her out. This episode, it is happening. It is, it is doing. We are doing it. So long as you, ha you don't have anything useful to you. I just need, like, this basic equipment. That's why I don't like it here in Nysis, because there's nothing here to buy. You know, I can buy some more spells. I can, what I can do, what I can do, probably the best thing I can do is... Go into spell making. And do a... Uh, no, no, Sanctuary. Uh, where is it? Absorb health. That's what I want. I want an absorb health point on, on touch 
for a, quite a quite a range, but with the possibility of doing quite a lot of damage. But then you're getting into the sort of like, you know, 60% chance, but you know, a chance of doing 50 damage, quite nice. Um, it's just a case of maybe get a more average. Let's see what what's sort of 30 damage-ish? What's that sort of chance? About the same. Plus also it's 30 health rest restoring as well. See what I mean? So absorb health 30 points on touch. Um, we'll call that leech. It only costs 169, so maybe this is where I should be going. Because I can do spell making. Um, but there's not a lot else, uh, really, that, uh, you know, maybe a high-powered sort of, like, sanctuary thing. Oof. For, like, 30 seconds. Oh, God. Okay, 31 seconds. Maybe not. Water walking, maybe. I don't know what our current water walking, water walking does, but then I'm just making it for the sake of it. 60 seconds is fine. Um, I can cast those two. Be a leech, probably something uh, that I may want to look, in, look into. All right, so. I really need some protection versus paralysis though. It's so irritating. There's nothing here and I'm I'm kind of stuck here. I was I was vaguely hoping against hope like even so you know surviving that in confrontation was pretty pretty damn impressive, but I was hoping against hope that it would spawn me in uh what do you want? Alderaan or something. Cuz there's nothing here. Well, that's you uh can help me. Yes, this looks better. <sighs> nope. I thought it was strange that I didn't buy any, and that's because there is nothing to there's none to buy, is there? There's nothing here. It's buying the same stuff again. I remember what Flynn does. Yeah, so again, you know, I can cure poison, which may well be useful in disease. Actually, maybe not the disease, because that seemed really, really expensive. And I think I'm resistant to receive res disease. Plus, I don't want ten of them anyway. Yeah, I've still got one. I'll tell you what, I'll buy another one. But yes, it's really... You like me. Thank you. I will listen out and but make it different. There's nothing here. Nope. Nope. I just want some it's it's cure paralysis. It's like the you know, the most basic thing. It's not Every temple apart from this one sells them. And you but you don't have anything, do you? Gotta repair everything, I that's a good thing. Um should have done that manually, but I'm getting hasty now. Okay, actually, we got a bit of money. What do you want? Hmm. We should check out the. Uh... These are all houses, aren't they? They're all just huts. We have leveled. We have done something in this episode. We have leveled. So you guys really don't sell anything, do you? You just look speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Pots and pans and rubbish like that. Yes, brilliant. There's a long blade there. I don't really need a long blade, thank you. A magical short blade would be nice, which is why I wanted that because you see how powerful it is. And this is the only merchant who doesn't really have any light armor. This, you know. <laughs> Should have used these to repair my arm, but yeah, it's all right. Make it quick, Outlander. All right, let's 
have a little further look in here. Says trade house. Maybe there are a few more people here who trade. Because this guy doesn't What's even about? have Sajama. It's nothing. It's sell pots and pans and buckets. You sell buckets. There's, there's no actual, like, it's a bar. You don't, you know, you, you sell bottles. These could be good. We don't need seven of them now. So maybe somebody else barters. Seek traveler. Any time now. Clutching the straws, of course, because I'm just really. Uh... I mean, the whole point of this this place is that it's an Imperial Legion sort of colony, though. So. Um... Fresh game. You, you are based here as the Imperial Legion, and they give you equipment as you do stuff for them. So you don't really need... What's this about? <laughs> yeah, that again. Didn't check whether it is the right NIF that I took out. Ah, I can train. Uh, and, well, block wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. And, you know, i got nothing else to spend my bloody money on, so... Move one in I one blade. Under, but make it quick. And a bit more in blocking and blocking. We'll do blocking because that's an agility skill, so I can increase my agility. There you go, it's all my money gone. So I know if I do find one, which of course I will, oh dear, yes, let's stop you from doing that. No, you're actually stuck, aren't you? Yeah. Who's there? Goodbye. Goodbye. Maybe I, maybe I should disable the door? What if there's a trader through here? I'll try it. Oh, I'll try it. Here we go. There's a door. Be free! Ah, no, you still... Oh, well, there's nothing in there anyway, so... So now if I do find a vendor of some sort... This is just the Imperial Legion dude, isn't it? There will be... I will have no money. But I am stuck here, so I've got to... Utilise it to the best that I can. Hello? No. Let's hear it. Ah, there we go. More blocking. And nothing. What's in here? Nothing. Obviously. Nicest is the city or town or settlement of nothing. There's nothing here. You can't even rest here. There was no option for beds, was there? Not that my character really minds. Just wander outside for a little bit, which I'm going to do now. And rest up. You know, because a slight gust of wind and she'll die. So I've looted everything in there. I just go in houses and kill people and take their stuff? Maybe someone has a protection versus paralyzation. Pretty ridiculous, though. Hopefully it's daytime. If it isn't, okay, good, right? And then we're gonna... We're gonna go back. We are gonna go back there. I know that I'm not really well equipped enough to do it, but I, I'm... I could always, like, try and get to... You call it Alvalothi up here, because that may... Alright, I'll tell you what, that's probably a better idea. I'm just wandering around trying... I'll try and get to Alvalothi. I'm actually, you know... Trying to get to Alvalothi, and I know it's... I'm repeating that, but just the fact that I'm trying to get there when there's nothing there just shows how desperate the situation is. I thought I was free of Nisus when I decided to walk south, but I was walking north! I was walking north! <clears throat> so, maybe there's some cure paralyzation things at Alpha, I think. Maybe there is. Ah! Okay, we'll keep going this way. We should see it in the distance, because, yes, it's just, it's just over there. It's not actually that far. It's not actually that far. We'll be fine. And then we'll go across this bridge again, and then travel south and get to the Smoothers Cave. Because we've got to the end of it first, which is quite nice. And I, I was aware of it, and I think I mentioned it in the last episode, maybe the episode before as well, that there's... I know there's a, a glass jinx blade there, which is one of the better weapons in the game because of the effect that you saw. You saw how good it was. That, uh, you know, I was... I was helpless. She was just wailing away at me. The only sort of like 
possible downside is it with that if you continuously use it, use it like she did, there is a chance that your enemy can resist magic and thus it will end the effect early. So what I tend to do with them, I think I did, I, I had it with the character before, is to uh, use it for a bit and then switch to another weapon and then when they get unparalyzed use it for a bit. I can't remember what character that was because they're all blurring together. You know what I could have done as well with that gold? I could have rescued this woman that, that's kidnapped. But my poor Khajiit thief tried to uh, save. Well, he had a really bad time of it, didn't he? Maybe I shouldn't be jumping and stuff all the time. Yes, maybe I shouldn't because... I'm in an unknown land of unknown dangers. Hello, yes, yes. I don't have any gold now, sorry. It's just there, so we're fine, yeah. So, at this trade house place, we might be able to find some cure paralyzation, because that's all I need. That's all I need, and then I just ca ca keep casting that spell at her, and, and she'll die. Okay. Is it you? It's very dark in here. Chomp, 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 chomp. It's not, is it? You don't have any, do you? I don't have any gold anyway, so yes, well done me. Well done me. Although I could always just <laughs> raid the boat again. <laughs> An exquisite Daedric Amulet, that's, that's nice, that's something new. Slow fall spoil, I don't want that then, do I? I don't want pillows either. Um, so, coming here was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? Maybe there's some Imperial Longsword, it isn't as good as that really, it's better average damage. Mm, no. uh, uh, uh. I think I would have had enough gold for a couple. You don't actually, hello. Have, uh... Alright, I do. I don't know, man. I could always try and get some bleak coal, but I don't know whether there's anything there, either. So, should we, do, should we just, should we just try it again? Should we, should we just try it again? Should we just go to the same cave and go the same way and try it again? You know, and take, like, three points off a health and then do the uh, the intervention again and then go all the way back to Nisus and then just go back again and just do it ad nauseum until we win. That's about the best plan that I currently have. Because once I have that sword, once I have that sword, it'll be okay. And it'd be really easy to get that sword if I had some potions of cure paralyzation, but I can't get any because... <laughs> I'm in Northern Vardenfell and there's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'm going to stop bouncing like an idiot. I'm not. I've been this way, so... I know it's relatively safe. Boing. 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 Plus, it's all leveling. It's all increasing our character stats. It's all helping towards the cause. Yes, nice. This is this way. Thank you. Now, is it this... See, now I can't even remember why I'm... Uh, I don't think it is. Yes, you and your bloody ring, yes. You silly precious. It's been done. So... Where is... Thing that I'm after. I can't even find it anymore, can I? I am looking for... Oh, I'm stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. A bridge. There, isn't it? Cause I remember this bit and then... Yeah, okay. So I want leech. 
30 points a hit. She might, she, you know, I might only have to do this three times, but I only have a 45% chance. But that is with no fatigue. I shall, of course, increase my fatigue. Um, I think I'm going to rely on uh, absorb health quite a lot. Because, of course, it has the dual thing of damaging and healing. So it is one of the uh, more effective spells in the game. So there's that silly boat. Keep on the clock as well. I don't. I don't want to over record. But I, 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 just, I get into it. I get into it. You know, because I don't know. I get to play once a week. I know. I know. I could upload more. I know. I could. But uh, no, little no. You know, little nothing. Plus. Um, I was gonna make another point, but I forgot what it was. It makes me appreciate it when I do play it. Because you can overkill these things, can't you? Ugh. So I think we can get up this bit. I think we can... There we go. Yeah. And then round here. And then... And then... And then... And then here. And then... And then I find that... Yeah, okay. I hit here. Okay. Shinabi. Okay. So keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. Continue to swim. And then we dive, dive, dive. Dead body. Okay, and then we'll stop swimming so fast so our fatigue restores. And there's a door there, yes, okay, so. There is, trust me, it's there. We'll wait here. Uh, I do have lots of restore health as well. So that's that's good. Um yeah. And we have uh fully restored weapons and armor. No, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be this all the way. 62%. Let's see what it is. I think it's, it should be about 70 maybe or something. It's quite high. 67%. Of course, it'll fail on casting, you know. I'm going to save it just in case it crashes, you know, because, you know, these things do happen quite often. Okay, we're getting there now. Right, okay, so here we are. Here we are. It takes 24, so we don't have that many shots of it. We have a couple, and it's 75% chance. So, set it again, and here we go. She's right here. Ah, she got me straight away. Couldn't even see her. I'm resisting some of that, you know, because she's given me lots of magicka as well, which is nice. But if only I could just get rid of it with. Oh dear, oh boy. Uh, it's in training. It's training my armor, you know. But that isn't going to run out. Oh. Okay, well I failed it twice. And now I don't have the intervention, but I can just turn around. Get your side out. Come on. Stop being stunned. Batter her to death. Batter her, batter her, batter her, batter her, batter her. Oh. Don't know why it stopped working. Maybe oh, it's out of charge. Of course, it's out of charge. I must have to re-enchant it when I get it. When I get it. Oh. Oh. 
There's more damage than mine, of course. That's why I want it. She's dead! Ah! There it is! The glass jink blade. It will, of course, recharge over time. It doesn't actually do more damage than mine. Oh, I completely lied. Uh, mine actually does more damage. <laughs> you also have better armor than me, which I'm taking right now. Right now. Full set of chitin. I'm having it. So I'll be less um, rugged, but I think it's worth it. More like a, well, a generic sort of like Morrowind character who uses light armor, to be quite honest. We'll also have your pants in your shirt. Strip you bare, apart from that curse, you can have that. So! Now, of course, is when we run in and, and, and do more. Of course, I'm a bit worried about this. My, uh, I have more, more, maybe it's fine, I'll, I'll do it, right, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, he hasn't even noticed me. Why hasn't he noticed me? Is he not hostile? I will not be taken for a fool. Okay, yeah, cast spells at me, cast spells at me. Go on, cast spells at me. Maybe this guy wasn't hostile, I don't know. I just tried to pickpocket him. Because he went hostile for that. No, stop doing whatever you're doing, stop it. Now I get to loot this. Now I get to loot all of this. Okay, so I'll have that anyway, thank you very much. And this gold. And you can keep your common rob. Okay, so what have we got? We got a glowy thing there, I see a glowy thing. Uh... Oh, it's six house stuff. Oh, no, stop. They're heavy and not worth a lot. All right, so that's... Oh, okay. Dwemer stuff. Nice. You couldn't even cast some spells at me, could you? So I could do the intervention thing. Now i got to walk all the way back. More Dwemer stuff. Oh, hello. Actually, that's... I'm actually more happy about the... Uh, short sword because I can use that instead of this. I know it's really heavy though. Eight compared to. Huh. That then. I suppose that's quite. No, we're... there's no contest. We're going to use one of these uh, for more damage. Uh, there's also these as well, which is really heavy. Uh, what else we got? Okay, finally, we, we earned it, didn't we? We bloody earned it. Hmm. Oh, a kite. Oh, tower shield. Yes, please. Get rid of that. Anything we don't... No, we're fine, aren't we? We've got everything. Except, of course, that's really damaged. Anything else really damaged? Yeah, they are. that one. Um, we took all this from her, but we were wailing on her for ages, so uh, whoever she was. So we'll swap all this out. Um, okay. Is that doing anything? Why? Don't want that. Oh, it's going to niche one on. Do I have a left pauldron? Oh, I'm getting confused now. Left, I do. Okay. And these greaves. Uh, 50 out of 50. Yeah, they're fine. So I don't want these. What an effort. Right, pauldron. Okay, right. So we sorted. We've got a full set of uh, chitin armor and a tower shield. So armor seven. Badass. Uh, we also have a glass jug, some gold, a skill book. You thought it would be spear. Cool. Okay, that's no help us at all. Does increase our endurance though, which is nice, and also a lot of barrels, which we shall of course have a look in. Yes, indeed. Pants. Pants smugglers. Robbing people of their pants. That's nice. And soul trap. Good. And a soul gem as well. So I don't have the spell yet because I can't... Oh! That's a good find. I have that as well. Let's all these. Yeah. So 
I don't have the spell because I can't get anywhere that sells it. Because this game hates me. Flynn. I don't know what Flynn does. So I don't want to take it. I have these soul gems as well because they'll be nice to sell. More unhinging. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Look, more Sajama. Oh, so badass. Uh, more gem feeder. Oh, we earned all this, though. We earned every bit of it. There will be no locks that get in our way unless they're above like 60 or so. Which case they will. But you know, apart from that, we'll have, have all these gold as well. And I think that was everything. Yeah, that was those. Pretty nice though. Pretty nice little haul. And hang on. Oh, there's one. Now, of course, what I don't want to do is uh, get seen by anyone up that there because all those guys, the rest of the crew, think that everything is okay here at the Bandit Den. But it isn't. Because their leaders are dead. I had been in that one, but uh, nothing there anyway. Of course, it's uh, our character knowledge, of course, that I know what Sajama does. I'm sure somebody will uh, quite rightly point that out, but I don't care! It's 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 tricky, you know, the, the, getting the balance between role-playing and staying alive. And, well, I'm afraid one of those is more important than the other. You know, I have, I have other LPs for role-playing. I do try and stay in character mostly, but you know, when it comes to, you know, this will get me killed, but it's in character, I'm like, well, I, I tend to not to. Besides, you know, how can you say that? It's like, you know, this character will die if he does this, but that's what he'd do. Eh, maybe in certain circumstances, but... You know, like a knight defending a town or something like, well, insurmountable odds, but I'll, I'll stay and defend it. But I couldn't see this character doing that, so. And she knows what Sajabra is, get over it. Oh, what a lovely sunset. Doesn't solve our issue of getting out this bloody water, of course, which is what got us into this in the first place. Just watch, a fish will eat me now. I'm going to take some health, just in case. I can just see it happening. One of those, those dregs or something, whatever they're called. Because the idea is, of course, you go back up through the cave. But I don't want to do that, because it's an evil game of death. I could go back. So I know I can get out that way, but it's... I don't want to. I mean, there might be something really nice here. And I need to check out like every recording pod, because I always forget to make a note of the time. I think we're okay for another couple of minutes. So hopefully I can at least get her on dry land. If I keep going this way, I'll just make it to uh, Nisus again. But I'm worried about the fishies. Because I don't think all of them will be passive. Because they are slaughter fish, after all. And that doesn't mean they slaughter the fish. Well, actually, you might, to be fair. Uh, are we on the mainland? Or are we just on a bit of a rocky hillock? We're not there, are we yet? Let me up there. No, no, I didn't think so. No, we have to go back into the water. Well, I thought we made it, but we didn't. I also have water walking, but I can't cast it because I don't have any mana. Yeah, okay, right, fine. I can, when, when did I start calling things mana? Is it after Dragon Age? I don't know. I think I can get up there. Oh, here. I think I can make it home. Oh, God, I just refer to the nicest as my home. Stop this, my base. base. I can make it back to base. My character has no home. She's a nomad who decides she's going to kill this guy. There were suggestions about why. Probably something to do with uh, the car carposium. That, that thing that he runs and, you know, one of her family members maybe went there to be volunteered to be experimented on and he died and so she's like, right, well, that wasn't too good. I'm going to kill you for that. I quite like that one, so yeah, maybe it was her brother. 
there I decided there we go character development ow well yeah I, I, if that had killed me I'd have been gutted I will say if I die from a fall it's my own making right okay I can't get up here can I come on game give me a break game character like you know dry land we're looking very generic and thiefy now all right uh, which way do I go there can I get up there I just want to oh there's a still strider okay we made it back to nicest Unless, of course, we die. Might have to deal with the guy with no pants. Who's stood in the water. It must get very wrinkly. Maybe I don't want to think about that too much. Right. I think we're coming up to an hour. So. Oh, let me up there. Ah! Oh. Ah, uh, I will get, I will bloody get back up on this. I know I can get from up here because otherwise, yeah, you couldn't go and see the nice man in the, in the water. I'm just, I just swam from all the way up there. Guys, you don't care, do you? Guys, people of Nisus, I am telling you a tale of heroic deeds and such. I helped rid you of a, well not really rid you of a smuggler guy, but I weakened it. I took out their leaders and maybe an NPC, I wasn't quite sure, I, it didn't attack me straight away, so I attacked him. Just, you know, just be sure, you gotta be sure of these things, right? You know, he's hanging out with smugglers, so he's probably a smuggler. Ah! Loots! No one to sell them to, but loots. So, hurrah. This has been Iron Man Morrowinds, and we have made it for another week with Asani, and we got some Dre uh, we got some Dwemer stuff, which is about as good as you can get, and uh, we now got a nice uh, short sword, and we got a Jink blade. I'll probably sell this one, um, the Dwemer Jink sword, because it's way, way heavier. I only want it for the um, enchantment. So, yes. All right, then. Wonderful. I'll see everything else next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We are getting there slowly but surely. We are increasing our levels one a week. So this time next year, we, at this rate, we might be able to take on Divious Fear. I look forward to it. I hope you do too. Okay. I shall see you next week. Cheerio. Toodle in.